Good morning. I'd like to talk to you today about intra and intermolecular forces. It's really strength uh, between these two. Uh, those are the type of questions that you'll be asked. So let's go to definitions first. Intra, so I-N-T-R-A, intramolecular forces. Those are the forces that hold atoms together in a compound. So I have sodium and chlorine that come together. Electrostatic force is an ionic bond. That is an intramolecular force. Now, I listed our intramolecular forces right here. We've got covalent network, so that's like your diamond and your silicon dioxide. Um, ionic compounds, that's going to be your metal with the non-metal. Metallic, remember this is metal and metal. And then covalent, that's your non-metal, non-metal. Here on the, actually let's come up to the covalent network. I'll put silicon dioxide, that's quartz, and we also have diamond. Um, and I wrote these in strength. So the strongest is the covalent network. And you can think diamonds on the most scale, that's our hardest substance. Um, so really, really strong. Then ionic, that's the electrostatic force, next strongest, um, which is really interesting how crazy strong that positive and negative attraction is. It's even stronger than metallic bonding. Uh, metallic bonding, that's where we have the sea of electrons, where the electrons delocalize and they move and ebb and flow on top of those positive kernels, the um, nuclei. And then covalent bonding, this is where we share electrons. Of all of the intramolecular forces, the forces that hold atoms together in a bond, covalent is by far the weakest. And you can see that in um, his melting point. We have covalent compounds that are liquids at room temperature, like oils. Look at the canola oil in your in your pantry. Um, it has such um, it has such um, it's so weak in its inter intramolecular forces that it has really low melting points and boiling points. Okay, now to contrast that, what I have down here falls under this category. It's called intermolecular forces. So I N T E R intermolecular forces. And here's your definition. This is the force that holds molecules together in phases. So it's going to hold molecules as um, liquids or solids. Remember, gases have zero intermolecular forces. There's nothing that holds those gas molecules together. They're 100% separate, moving in those random, crazy straight lines. Um, now, huge takeaway. The forces that hold molecules together, so like a water and a water molecule next to each other so they freeze or so they can translate and be a liquid phase. Uh, those forces that hold molecules together are always, always weaker than our intramolecular forces. The forces that hold atoms together as a compound. Compounds, that force holding atoms together, those compounds are always stronger than the forces that simply hold molecules as solids or liquids. Um, so hydrogen bonding is the strongest of the intermolecular forces. Now be really careful on this. And I'm so sorry, let me apologize. I, I wish chemists had not used the word bonding here. It's really not a bond. It's not like a bond of ionic, metallic, or covalent. Um, it's a force where we have, um, let's take water for example. It's a force that attracts two molecules together. It's going to be this oxygen, that partial negative, attracted to the partial positive of that hydrogen. Um, so it's really not a bond. It's a force. It's a force. So the strongest of the intermolecular forces, what holds molecules together is a solid or a gas, hydrogen bonding, then dipole, dipole, and London dispersion. Now I have a whole video, I have sets of videos um, on these intermolecular forces. Notice that I wrote off to the side, in between hydrogen bonding and dipole, dipole, ion dipole, and then in between dipole, dipole, and London dispersion, I put dipole induced dipole. Um, I put these off to the side because they have to be a mixture of different substances. Whereas here, you can have a mixture of different substances, um, but they have the same type of intermolecular forces, or you can even have pure substances, and they, like pure water, will do hydrogen bonding. So if you have questions on that, I have several videos, watch the videos on intermolecular forces and several videos um, on the intramolecular forces. For this video, I want you to demarcate, draw a line right here in your brain. There's a difference between the force that holds atoms together, intramolecular force, covalent, ionic, metallic, covalent, and what hold, the force that holds 
molecules together as solids and liquids, intermolecular forces. And that's the hydrogen bonding dipole, dipole London dispersion, ion dipole, dipole induced dipole. So you can keep those two straight. And here you have this scale of uh, strongest down to weakest. London dispersion forces, the weakest of everything. Covalent networks, the strongest of everything. Okay, there you have it. Have a good day. Thank you.